Well, we are excited to announce that we will be partnering exclusively with Erie News Now. From now on, we will share content which will add value to both viewers in Erie and here in Jamestown. In addition, for those who are local in Jamestown, we'll have access to Erie's correspondent in Washington, D.C. as well to connect you with issues like we've never been able to do before. You can expect to see and hear the benefit of this partnership on both the televisions across the area and in radio in Warren, Pennsylvania, where we'll be broadcasting on Lilly Broadcasting's own 92 Gold. So it's certainly exciting to announce that, and we are so happy to be part of that Lilly Broadcasting and Erie News Now family. Uh, a lot of people maybe don't know Dakota. We're all about transparency here. This has been in the works for mm -hmm. a couple of weeks now. I'd say almost a month. We've, we've been talking back and forth with them. Uh, we, we've both gone down to Erie um, to talk with their crews and, uh, and meet their team. We've done some work with them previously. As you may have noticed, some of our uh, stories were on their network, but now it's going to be so much, so much stronger than it, than it was before. So I am really, really excited, too. And I know they have a lot of great uh, weather staff down there uh, mm -hmm. in Erie who uh, you've talked to already, right? Yep, uh, I got um, uh, the day we uh, the uh, day we went down there to have like a formal internal uh, sort of like a formal internal meeting Meet with all greet, the sort of yeah you yeah, know the internal people it. there. Uh, got to talk with uh, John Stalin, who runs the uh, weather department down there. You know Dave Walter and Sarah Tonks, who's the other two uh, meteorologists they have on staff there. I mean, you know, I can't tell you all of what's going to be coming down right. in the pipeline. But uh, there's some wonderful ideas that have been thrown around. And uh, I mean, this is just a great opportunity for both of us here and uh, for I think for both uh, uh, I think for both uh, the Erie stations and for us as well. And, uh, you know, to have this very exclusive partnership uh, with Erie News Now is I think something that is going to, I think, change. I don't want to say change as in drastic change but right. i think there's going to be a lot of great things that's going right. to happen out of this partnership it is a big game changer i think it's fair to say um for western new york and specifically the jamestown community because before uh, a lot of people maybe didn't realize you know we only have a staff of five people right mm -hmm. so there's not a ton of people in our newsroom all the time granted we do a heck of a lot of work uh, to, to bring these stories to you every day and I think in great fashion right we've had some really awesome exclusive reporting um, and just general news coverage which you can't get anywhere else in Jamestown no one else streams uh, television online like this so uh, for, for the news side of things I think it's going to be incredible um, to connect you with um, you know more of the region and you know nationwide as well they have a lot of really great resources I'm excited to see what kind of reports we get out of DC and uh, you know, as a big thing with Congressman Reed stepping down after his uh, two-year term, uh, who's going to run and, and be the new face in Washington? You know, if they gerrymander the district, what's going to happen there? Um, so I think that that'll be really, really awesome to see, and I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. And uh, I just, just talking to the guys at Erie, the guys and girls there, it's really incredible, and they're so welcoming. So I just want to thank them and everybody uh, for, for really making this possible. So.